Here's a quick demo of the Refos Smart Wi-Fi Garage Door Opener. It's also sold as the Miros Garage Door Opener. As far as I can tell, they're the same thing. And they really should be called more of a controller because they are designed to plug into the existing garage door opener you've already got. This one supports Apple HomeKit, which is one of the reasons that I chose this model. But I wanted to see how it actually worked. So I've got it set up on my bench here uh, with USB power plugged in. And then this is the door open or close sensor that's plugged in here. And the output of this controller I've got connected up to my multimeter, which is set up to read ohms. I'm actually going to set that to min ohms. So we can see, so it'll capture the minimum ohms when I uh, use my iPad to, to tell the controller to close the garage door. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to press the button on my iPad to close it. And you can see ohms drops down to about, about one ohm is typical. And it says closing until I physically move the contactor sensor closed. And now that closed state is reflected on the iPad. I'll do the same thing for opening. So let me reset this to min ohms. So now I'll go ahead and hit open. It says opening and ohms drop down again to about one ohm and I'll slide the contactor sensor away and the status changes from opening to open. So that's the basic operation. Uh, the other thing that's nice about this is that it has a facility built in to show you when there's a, a problem. So uh, this time I'll, I'll well, let me set this up again to just show ohms and I won't do minimum I'll just capture the uh, I'll just capture the the pulse it sends this time I'm gonna press the button to close it and you may have heard the click and you saw the ohms here it only lasts for about one second or so but I'm not actually gonna move the garage sensor the door sensor closed and so after just a moment here of saying closing since the garage door closing sensor um, wasn't activated It'll change the status back to open, but with this exclamation mark. So if you hold down on this, go to settings, here's where you see that there is a obstruction detected. So that's kind of nice. At the end of any um, cycle that's commanded from a home kit, ultimately the status will show the, uh, the true state of the garage door based on this sensor. So the way to clear that is I need to go through a successful close cycle. So I'll hit it again here. And again, you see the uh, ohms drop to about one for about one second. Status is closing, but now I'll move the, the uh, door sensor to the receiver and the door is closed again. Another thing that's nice about this is that it works with whatever garage door opening button or system you already have. This is meant to add on to uh, old style garage door openers, which just need um, basically these two wires to be shorted in a, in a pulse. I think the way that works is that this is just connecting the two wires internally for about a second, like I said, and I think the garage door motor, uh, the actual unit that moves the door, just receives that pulse and changes the garage door from whatever state it's in to the opposite. So if it's closed, it tries to open the door. And if it's open, then these wires being shorted causes the garage door opener to try to close the door. It still works with your existing openers because the, ultimately, the, uh, the garage door sensor here will change the state in HomeKit. So let's pretend I press a physical uh, wall button or a, or a remote button. These will separate. And in HomeKit, you'll see a, a brief period of opening and then it sets, it goes to open again. And if I put these back together, the opposite happens. Closing for a short time and then door closed. So again, it's nice that this ultimately will show the true status of the garage door based on these sensors and not simply based on, you know, the last button that was pressed and, and whatever the last thing this was commanded to do. It shows the, the true state of what is actually the, uh, the end result. It's also worth noting that this, uh, the nice thing about this sensor is it, it doesn't have to be, um, they don't actually have to touch like that. The way this is meant to be used is you would, you would mount this part at the um, front of your garage where the, where the door ultimately closes, probably at the top of the door. And then this part is mounted to the door and actually rides with the door. And you can see by, well, we'll watch the iPad, but also watch this light on the uh, Refos controller. As I move it away, you'll see that it still shows closed at this state. I'm gonna move it a little bit further until there's a flash of the green light. There you go. And that changed it to opening and now open. You can see there's probably two inches of, uh, of difference there. And now I'll move it the opposite direction and find out where it marks it as closed. There it goes. 
and now it's marked as closed. So somewhere between one inch and two inches is, is the, uh, the leeway that you have for having um, the state change on the, uh, on the door. And that's nice because when you mount this, it may be difficult to mount things so that these are actually right next to each other, but uh, that actually really isn't necessary. Lastly, one of the reasons I like HomeKit and I chose this particular device is that it does have its own app that you can use. And if you go into settings, you see it listed here. It's the, Mi it's the Miros app. And you can use that, but in my case, um, I like the fact that I didn't have to use that app. I was able to set this all up just using the uh, native HomeKit um, uh, functionality. And, and what I like about that is that I have a little bit higher confidence in HomeKit being supported you know, a number of years into the future and probably quite a lot longer uh, than this app will be. So that's one of the reasons that I like HomeKit and I chose this device. In any case, uh, that's a kind of an overview of how it works. I hope that anybody that has a old style garage door with these types of connections that's looking for a, a HomeKit integration uh, finds this useful. And thanks for watching.